blessings before this wonderful message from my father in the lord late archbishop bensi idaosa i'd like to share information about anointedtube.com with you the number one christian video sharing website today anointedtube.com this is a powerful site believed to be the top most Christian video sharing website in the world today. It is ranked as one of the best video sharing website according to available data. It hosts videos of preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from all around the world. You can as well share our video on all social media platforms. The World Database of Christian Precious, positively touching and changing lives around the world. It is a great Christian video sharing website. The Lord bless you. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. Christ is the same yesterday, today, forevermore. Shut hallelujah. He came, he saw, and he conquered. If you try everywhere, no answer. Si has probado en todo lugar sin respuesta, take it in your hand. Tómalo en tus manos. Take it to God. Llévalo a Dios.
God is able. Dios es poderoso. Because the Bible says, la Biblia dice, with men que con los hombres it's impossible. es imposible not with God, pero no con Dios for with God, porque para Dios todas las cosas possible. son posibles Estamos contentos de estar con ustedes. Nice to be in Argentina. Es bueno estar en Argentina. We are grateful to God He brought us here safely. Estamos agradecidos con el Señor que nos haya traído seguros aquí. My family and I. Mi familia y yo. My wife. Mi esposa. And myself. Y yo mismo and our team, y nuestro equipo we bring you greetings. les traemos saludos. God bless you for Dios waiting. les bendiga. Expect a miracle. Esperen un milagro. Aleluya. Aleluya. God bless you. Dios te bendiga. Amén. Amén. I know Jesus is here tonight. Yo sé que Jesús está aquí esta tarde. And I'm believing God for a great thing. Y creo que el Señor nos dará una gran fe. And God will honor His name. Y Dios honrará su nombre. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us have a word of prayer. Tengamos una palabra de oración. Father, we thank you. Padre, te agradecemos. You are the same God. Eres el mismo Dios. From Abraham's time. Del tiempo de Abraham. Isaac. Isaac. Jacob, Jacob, the Father of our Lord, el Padre de nuestro Señor, Jesus Christ, Jesucristo. Tonight, esta noche, glorify your name. Glorifica tu nombre. Let your word be simple. Que tu obra sea Let sencilla. Ears hear. Que los oídos oigan. Let hearts receive. Que los corazones reciban. Glorify your name. Glorifica tu nombre. Bless your word to our Bendice heart. tu palabra a nuestros We thank corazones. You for bringing us here. Te agradecemos por traernos We aquí. The nation of Argentina. Bendecimos la nación de Argentina. We pray your power upon this country. Oramos tu poder sobre este Let país. Be a in que haya avivamiento en Argentina. Let your name be exalted. Que tu nombre sea exaltado. Thank you for coming to Argentina. Gracias por venir a Argentina. With your presence and with your power. Con tu presencia y tu poder. In Jesus. Name. En el nombre de Jesús. Amen. 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 I like you to turn with us to the Bible tonight. Me gustaría que abra su Biblia esta tarde. In the book of Luke. En el libro de San Lucas. We are told in chapter 9. En el capítulo 9. A very very simple gospel that Jesus gave us an example of his power. When I became a Christian nearly 40 years ago. Cuando yo me convertí en cristiano hace casi 40 años atrás. The first thing that I said to myself was. Lo primero que yo me dije a mí mismo fue. That I may see the Jesus Of the Bible. Que yo pudiese ver a Jesús de la Biblia. That I may know him in his power. Que lo pueda conocer a él y a su. Thank you, Bishop Edgil. Gracias, Obispo Edgil. I told myself I like to see Jesus of the Bible. Me dije a mí mismo que me gustaría ver al Jesús de la Biblia. And I began to look for the Jesus of the Bible. Y comencé a buscar al Jesús de la Biblia. Every service I attended as a young man. En cada culto que yo atendía, que yo iba como un joven. It was my desire to see a preacher preach Jesus. Era mi deseo ver que un predicador predicase a Jesús. By what we are seeing here tonight. Por lo que podemos ver aquí esta tarde. I believe that this pastor believe in Jesus. Yo creo que este pastor cree en Jesús. And I believe that this congregation knows Jesus. Y yo creo que esta congregación conoce a Jesús. 
So we thank God for a living church. Así que le damos gracias a Dios por una iglesia viva. Thank God for a Bible church. Gracias a Dios por una iglesia de la Biblia. Ministers of the God. Gracias a Dios por los ministros del Evangelio. Aleluya. Aleluya. I bless you. Les bendigo. One day I came across the scripture I want to read tonight. Cuando me crucé con la escritura que les quiero leer esta tarde. About 35 years ago. Hace como 35 años atrás. I saw how a man came to look for Jesus. Yo vi como un hombre vino a buscar a Jesús. He came to see Jesus. Él vino a buscar a Jesús a verlo. He has a problem. Porque él tenía un problema. His desire was to see Christ. Su deseo era ver a Cristo. When he came cuando él vino, Jesus was not at home. Jesús no estaba en casa. His mind was blown. Su cabeza se voló de su, de su His cerebro. Last hope was e, su última esperanza se deshizo. Where is Jesus? ¿Dónde está Jesús? Nine men told him, Nueve hombres le dijeron, Jesus is not at home, but we are here. Jesús no está en casa, pero nosotros estamos aquí. But the Bible said that Jesus had gone to the Mount of Transfiguration to pray. Porque la Biblia dice que Jesús había ido al Monte de la Transfiguración para orar. He took Peter. Llevó a Pedro. He took James. Tomó a Santiago. He took John. Se llevó a Juan. He went to pray. Fue a orar. While he was praying there, mientras él oraba allí, a man with trouble had come to look for him. Este hombre con problemas había venido a buscarle a él. He was not at home. No estaba en casa. He went to pray. Fue a orar. So the man came to the disciples. De modo que el, el hombre vino a los discípulos. And said, "Disciples." Y le dijo, "Discípulos." Where is your master? ¿A dónde está su maestro? I have a problem. Tengo un problema. Disciples said, "What is the problem?" Los discípulos dijeron, "¿Cuál es el problema?" He said, "I have a son." Dice, "Tengo un hijo." His one only son I have. Es el único hijo que tengo. He told them the story of his problem. Les contó la historia de su problema. Oh, they said no problem at all. Dijeron no hay problema. Bring him here. Tráigalo aquí. They brought the son to the disciples. Le trajeron al hijo a los discípulos. He gave them to cure him. Y les lo entregó para que lo curasen. Nine men prayed. Nueve hombres oraron. They laid hand on him. Impusieron manos sobre él. They prayed for the child. Oraron por el hijo. Nothing happened. Nada pasó. They prayed again. Oraron de nuevo. Nothing happened. Nada pasó. This man watched nine men try to help him. Este hombre vio a nueve otros hombres tratar de ayudarlo. They could not. No lo podían hacer. And before the nine men, y antes que los nueve hombres, the crowd surged. Se agolpó tal multitud. Multitude came. Una multitud llegó. To see what nine men can do for a boy. Para ver lo que nueve hombres podían hacer por ese muchacho. They could not. No podían hacer nada. This man was discouraged. Este hombre estaba desanimado. As he went, he was about to go. Y lo que estaba por suceder. He was in pain inside his heart. Este hombre estaba en dolor adentro de he su was corazón. Weary inside his soul. Estaba angustiado. Why is Jesus not at home? ¿Por qué Jesús no estará en Who casa is hoy? Going to help me? ¿Quién me va a ayudar? As he turned to go. Y mientras ya estaba a punto de irse, said, Behold, Jesus was coming. la Biblia dice, he aquí que Jesús venía. Jesús was coming as he was about to go. venía mientras este hombre se estaba And por I ir. Want to say to you, y les quiero decir a ustedes, things can go wrong before Jesus comes. las cosas pueden andar mal antes de que But Jesús when venga. Jesus show up, Pero cuando Jesús se muestra, everything change. todo se cambia. When Jesus shows up, cuando Jesús se hace ver, everything change. todas las cosas cambian. Eyes, no more crying. Los ojos que lloran ya no lloran más. The weeping heart, no more weeping. El corazón que clama no clama The más. Cheerful eyes, no more tears. Los ojos llenos de lágrimas no hay más. About to go. Están por irse. Jesus was coming in. Mientras estaba por ir Jesús Look venía. At how the Bible put it. Mire cómo la Biblia lo relata. The Bible says, la Biblia dice. It came to pass in Luke chapter 9, verse en, 37. En Lucas capítulo 9, versículo 7. It came to pass. Yeah, what verse is? 37. 37. 37. Versículo 37. It came to pass. Al día siguiente. That on the next day. Cuando descendieron del when monte. When they were come down from the hill. Una gran multitud le salió al encuentro. Much people met him. Una gran multitud le salió al encuentro. Much people met him. Una gran multitud le salió al encuentro. Listen to me. Escúcheme bien. Much people, una gran large. multitud, muy grande. They met Jesus. Encontraron a Jesús. But verse 38 said, 
Pero aquí dice And behold, a man of the company cried out, que un hombre de la multitud clamó saying, diciendo Master, Maestro I beseech thee te ruego Look upon my son, que veas a mi hijo for he is my only child. pues es el único que tengo And lo, y sucede a spirit take at him, que un espíritu le toma and he suddenly cries out, y de repente da voces and it at him, y le sacude con violencia he again, y le hace echar espuma and him hardly, y estropeándole from him, a duras penas se aparta de él and I besought thy disciples, y rogué a tus discípulos to cast him out, que le echasen fuera and they could not. y no pudieron That's a big disaster. Ahora este es un gran desastre. My one and only child. Mi único hijo. I brought him to you. Te lo traje a ti. I didn't meet you. Yo no te pude encontrar. I gave him to your disciples. Se los di a tus discípulos. That they might cure him. Para que lo curase. But they could not. Pero no lo curaron. They could not. No pudieron. Listen to me. Escúchame. He did not say. You could not. No dijo tú no pudiste. He said the disciples could not. El hombre dijo tus discípulos But no I want pudieron. To make this story very simple. Pero quiero hacer esta historia muy sencilla. Many people, the Bible says, met him. La Biblia dice que mucha gente se encontró con él. Much people. Una gran multitud. Thousands of people. Miles de personas. Came to meet Jesus. Vinieron a encontrarse con Jesús. Only one man cried out. Solamente un hombre clamó. Only one man knew what he needed. Solamente un hombre sabía lo que necesitaba. The rest people would say, Hosanna. El resto de ellos decía, Hallelujah. Hosanna. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Gloria a Dios. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesús. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody was talking like that. Todos estaban hablando así. One man said, Un hombre dijo, I didn't come for Osana. Yo no vine para Osana. I didn't come for Hallelujah. Yo no vine para Aleluya. I have a problem. Yo tengo un problema. I brought a problem. Yo traje un problema. The rest of you, you can be shouting Aleluya. El resto de ustedes pueden gritar Aleluya. The rest of you can be yelling. El resto de ustedes pueden But danzar. I have problem. Pero yo tengo un problema. In the Bible. En la Biblia. Only those who told God what they need. God the Solo aquellos que le dijeron a Dios lo que necesitaban obtuvieron la respuesta. You don't get solution as a crowd. No recibe solución como una multitud. You get a solution as a person. Se recibe solución como una persona. Even though the place was full. Ese lugar estaba lleno. The man said, I'm not one of them. El hombre dice, yo no soy uno I de am ellos. One. Yo soy uno. I have a problem. Tengo un problema. My child. Mi hijo. Is whom I brought. A quien traje. To your disciples. A tus discípulos. He is sick. Le rogué. He told Jesus the problem. Él le contó a Jesús el problema. He said, This boy is lunatic. Le dijo, este muchacho es un lunático. This boy falls down. Este muchacho se cae. This boy is about to die. Este muchacho está por morir. The devil cheer him. El diablo lo atormenta. I gave him to your disciples. Se lo di a tus discípulos. To cure him. Para que lo curase. They could not. Y no pudieron. They could not. No pudieron. They could not. No pudieron. I have a problem. Yo tengo un problema. My child is about to die. Mi hijo está por morir. That is his confession. Esa es su confesión. Now listen. Escuche. Things can go wrong before Jesus. Las cosas pueden andar mal antes que Jesús se haga ver. Things don't continue the same way when Jesus. Pero comes. las cosas no continúan igual cuando Jesús when se hace Jesus ver. When Jesus comes, things change. Cuando Jesús viene, las cosas cambian. When Jesus comes, things change. Cuando Jesús viene, las cosas cambian. When Jesus arrives, everything cuando changes. Cuando Jesús llega, todo cambia. When Jesus comes, things change. Cuando Jesús llega, todo cambia. When Jesus comes. Cuando Jesús viene todo cambia. What the disciples cannot do, lo que no pudieron hacer los discípulos. Jesus can do it. Jesús lo puede hacer. It doesn't matter how long. No importa cuánto tiempo. The presence of Christ change things. La presencia de Cristo. When Jesus come in your night. Cuando Jesús viene a tu noche. A new day start. Un nuevo día comienza. When Jesus come in your hunger, Cuando Jesús viene a tu hambre, he give you food. te da comida. When Jesus come when you are crying, cuando Jesús viene cuando lloras, he away your tears. Él enjuga tus lágrimas. When Jesus come when you are down, cuando Jesús viene cuando estás bajoneado, he tells you to get up. Él hace que te levantes. He doesn't say, Sorry about that. Él no dice, lo lamento. 
I see you. Qué lástima te veo. Sorry. Mucho, lo siento mucho. Mañana I will see you. Mañana te veo. I see you tomorrow. Te veo mañana. No. No. He says something to you. Él te dice algo. You are going to hear Jesus say. Vas a escuchar a Jesús decir. What are you doing there? ¿Qué estás haciendo ahí? Get up. Levántate. Stand. Párate. Rise. Levántate. That's how Jesus talks. Así es como Jesús habla. Jesus never tell anybody sorry. Jesús nunca le dice a nadie lo siento. I'm sorry about your problem. Lamento tu problema. Oh, I see you there. Te veo allí. Oh, very sorry about oh, your problem. Oh, siento mucho tu condición. No. no. He looks at you. Él te mira. He asks you. Y te pregunta. What are you doing in the wheelchair? ¿Qué estás haciendo en la silla de ruedas? He said, Get up. Dice, levántate. Move and go. Muévete. Go your way. Ve ahora por tu camino. They will put you there. El diablo que te colocó allí. God take you from there. Dios te levanta de allí. Devil put you down. El diablo te bajoneó. God raise you up. Yo te levanto. Devil flow you. El diablo te inundó. God lifts you. Dios te levanta. Shout aleluya. Grite aleluya. I brought him to your disciples. Te lo traje a tus discípulos. They could not cure him. Y no lo pudieron curar. That's what he said. Eso es lo que él dijo. Now, any man looking for man don't get too much help. Cualquier hombre que busca a otro hombre no recibe mucha But ayuda. But a man looking for God will get solutions. Pero un hombre que busca a Dios recibe soluciones. Listen to me. Escúcheme. Sometimes. A veces. People come to me. La gente viene a mí. They say I went to that church. Dice yo fui a aquella iglesia. No solution. No hay solución allí. I went to another church. Fui a otra iglesia. No solución. No encontré la solución. If you are looking for a church and not Christ, you will not get solution. Si estás buscando una iglesia y no a Cristo, no vas a recibir solución. If you are looking for a solution. Si estás buscando soluciones, look for Jesus. Búscalo a Jesús. Don't complain. No te quejes. Listen to the word of God. Escucha la palabra de Dios. Don't go and test a church. Go and test Christ. No salgas a probar una iglesia. Debes salir a probar a Cristo. Thirty-five years ago. Thirty-five años atrás. I stopped here. Me detuve aquí. I besought that disciple. Le rogué a tus discípulos to cast him out. Que le echasen fuera. And they could not. Y no pudieron. In other words, he was telling Jesus. En otras palabras, les decía Jesús that the disciples have no power. Que los discípulos no tenían poder. That is not correct. Eso no es correcto. He was not looking for God. Él no estaba buscando a Dios. He was telling Jesus what the apostles could not do. Él estaba diciendo a Jesús lo que los apóstoles no pudieron hacer. He didn't hacer. say, "I prayed." Él no dijo, "Yo oré." He said, "I sought your disciples." Él dice, "Yo rogué a tus discípulos." They could not. Y ellos no pudieron. That is true. Eso es verdad. Man can fail. La mente puede fallar. Church can fail. La iglesia puede fallar. But Jesus never Pero failed. Jesús nunca falla. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus answering said. Jesús respondió y dijo. Oh, faithless and perverse generation. Oh, generación incrédula y perversa. How long shall I be with you? Hasta cuándo he de estar con vosotros? Yo Yo sé de soportar. Bring thy son. Trae acá. Here. A tu hijo. Bring your son here. Trae acá a tu hijo. Bring your son here. Trae acá a tu hijo. Listen to that. Escuche eso. Bring your son to me. Trae tu hijo a mí. You have tried the church. Has probado con la iglesia. You have tried the disciples. Has probado con los discípulos. Now. Ahora. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now. Ahora. Bring him to me. Trae me lo a mí. If you try everywhere, no answer. Si has probado en todo lugar sin respuesta. Take it from your hand. Tómalo en tus manos. Take it to God. Llévalo a Dios. God is able. Dios es poderoso. Because the Bible says. La Biblia dice. With men. 
que con los hombres is impossible. es imposible not with God. pero no con Dios For with God, porque para Dios all things todas las cosas are possible. son posibles all things todas las cosas are possible. son posibles all things todas las cosas are possible. son posibles The Bible says, la Biblia dice him that cometh unto me, aquel que viene a mí I will no, wise cast out. no le echaré fuera The Bible says, la Biblia dice call unto me Clama a mí. In the day of trouble, en el día de angustia, I will answer you. Yo te responderé. I'll show you. Y te mostraré. Great. Sorry? Great. Grande. And mighty things. Te mostraré cosas grandes y ocultas. Says, La Biblia dice. With God. Con Dios. All things. Todas las cosas. Are possible. Son posibles. My Bible says. Mi Biblia dice. Come. Ven to me, a mí, y who labor, aquellos que están trabajando y cargados, I will give you rest. y yo os haré descansar. It's time for us es el tiempo que nosotros to look for God in the church. busquemos a Dios en la iglesia Don't complain. sin quejarnos But when Jesus come, porque cuando Jesús viene las cosas cambian when Jesus come, cuando Jesús viene las cosas cambian He arrived. Él llegó He arrived. Él llegó He said, Bring him to Él me. dijo tráiganmelo a mí Bring him to me. tráiganmelo a mí What is your trouble? ¿Cuál es tu problema? I can hear Jesus say, Puedo escuchar a Jesús decir Bring it to me. Tráemelo a mí Bring it to me. Tráemelo a mí it doesn't matter how long ago. No importa cuánto tiempo it doesn't matter hace for how many years. No importa cuántos años Now is the time. Ahora es el tiempo Bring your trouble to me. Trae tus problemas a mí Now listen to this. Escuche esto The Bible says in verse 42, La Biblia dice en el versículo 42 And as he Was yet coming to Christ. Y mientras se acercaba el muchacho, the devil threw him down. El demonio le derribó. Think of this. Piensen esto. The disciples could not. Los discípulos no podían. Now when the devil saw that Jesus was around, ahora cuando el diablo vio que Jesús estaba cerca, he wanted to tell the crowd, le quería decir a la multitud, that Jesus and the disciples they are the same que Jesús y los discípulos eran igual the disciples could not, los discípulos no pudieron and that Christ cannot. y que Cristo tampoco podía the disciples could not, que los discípulos no podían Christ cannot. y Cristo no podía That's what the devil wanted to prove. eso es lo que el diablo quería probar así que dice déjenme ver lo que ese Jesús va a hacer Jesus said, Bring him to me. Jesús dijo tráiganmelo a mí As they were going to Christ, y mientras iban a Cristo the devil snatched him. el diablo lo derribó He knocked him down. ¡Bum! Le, le dio un golpe ¡Bum! He Jesus would say, All y, right. y pensó que Jesús iba a decir bien Sorry. lo siento He didn't come to me. él no vino a mí He fell. se cayó bye bye. chao chao no bye bye. chao chao no no Jesus saw the devil. Jesús vio al demonio. Threw him down. El que lo derribó. What did Jesus do? ¿Qué hizo Jesús? Look at what the Bible says. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. 
Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. Mire lo que la Biblia dice. And Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit. Pero Jesús reprendió al espíritu inmundo. And healed the child. Y sanó al muchacho. Jesus rebuked. Jesús reprendió. In the book of Mark, the Bible said, en el libro de San Marcos la Biblia dice. Jesus said to the devil, Jesús le dijo al demonio. You foul spirit. Espíritu inmundo. You foul Espíritu inmundo. I adjure you. Yo ahora te ordeno. Come out of him. Sale él. I adjure you. Yo te ordeno. Foul spirit. Espíritu inmundo. I adjure you. Yo te ordeno. Foul spirit. Espíritu inmundo. Come out. Fuera. Enter no more. Y no entres más. Listen to this. Escuche esto. When you are in the territory of God. Cuando estás en el territorio de Dios. Anything happen where God is present. Y cualquier cosa sucede mientras Dios the está presente. Foul. El diablo, el diablo pierde. The devil foul. El diablo comete un in foul. In the presence of Christ. En la presencia de Cristo. The devil foul. El diablo pierde. In football match. En un partido de fútbol. Soccer. De fútbol. If you touch it with your hand, si lo tocas con la mano, you foul. Es una infracción. They they blow penalty. Entonces te cobran una penalidad. In the presence of God. En la presencia de Dios. If you touch God's own child, si tocas al hijo de Dios, the devil foul. El diablo recibe una penalidad. Now. Ahora. You are in the house of God. Estás en la casa de Dios. If the devil touch you, si el diablo te toca, he foul. Él está en penal. And Jesus will say, y Jesús dirá, you foul. Spirit. Espíritu inmundo. I command you. Yo te ordeno. Unclean spirit. Espíritu inmundo. Come out. Fuera. Come out. Fuera. Now listen to me very well. Escúcheme con atención. What happened before Jesus came? ¿Qué sucedió antes que Jesús viniese? It's different. Diferente. What's happening now? Lo que sucede ahora is different. Es diferente. Before Jesus. Antes de Jesús. The devil Want to tear the child. El diablo quería destruir al día al muchacho. It is my joy to tell you. Es mi gozo decirte. Nothing spoil when Jesus comes. Nada se echa a perder cuando Jesús viene. Nothing can die before Jesus. Nada puede morir delante de Jesús. Nothing can go wrong when Jesus Nada arrives. puede salir mal cuando Jesús viene. The devil viene. can throw you down. El diablo te puede derribar. The devil can blow you up. El diablo te quiere destruir. But when Jesus comes, Pero cuando Jesús viene, things change. Las cosas cambian. Somebody shout hallelujah. Alguien grite aleluya. When Jesus comes, cuando Jesús viene, things change. Las cosas cambian. When Jesus comes, cuando Jesús viene. Las cosas cambian. Hallelujah. No importa cuánto tiempo tú y yo hemos esperado a Jesús. Few years ago, hace algunos años atrás, I went to East Africa fui al este de África to preach. para predicar. Five nights in the stadium. Cinco noches en el estadio. Night, cada noche, God healed somebody. Dios sanaba a alguien. Every day, cada día, He healed. Él sanó. We saw the lame walk. Vimos a los paralíticos We caminar. Saw the blind see. Vimos a los ciegos ver. We saw the deaf hear. Vimos a los sordos oír. While I was praying, mientras yo oraba, people began to do what they have not la done gente before. podía hacer lo que no hacía While antes. I was preaching, mientras predicaba, people began to do what they have la not gente done comenzaba a hacer lo que antes no podía hacer. But there was a woman Pero había una mujer who was in the meeting for five days. que estuvo en la reunión durante cinco días. She was not healed. Ella no fue sanada. So we are going to go tomorrow. Así que vamos a ir mañana. And I announced. Y yo anuncié. 
There's going to be a meeting at the conference center. Que tendríamos una reunión For en el centro de conferencias para todos los pastores. Only pastors. Solo pastores. And 12,000 people jammed the place. Y 12,000 personas colmaron el lugar. And this woman entered taxi. Y esta mujer entró también. She says she's going to the meeting. Ella dijo que iba a la reunión. So somebody said to her. Así que alguien le dijo a ella. This meeting is not for sick people. Esta reunión no es para los enfermos. It's for pastors. Es para los pastores. She said, "I will be a pastor next month." Ella dijo, "Yo voy a ser una pastora el mes que viene." I will walk. Voy a caminar. I will see. Voy a ver. And I'll be a pastor. Y seré una pastora. They said, "You didn't hear what he announced." Y le dijeron, "Usted no escuchó lo que él anunció." The taxi driver told her. El que manejaba el taxi le dijo, "The meeting is for pastors." La reunión es solo para pastores. It's not for Blind? No es para los ciegos. It's not for lame. No es para los paralíticos. It's for pastors. Es para pastores. She said, I will be a pastor. Ella dijo, yo seré una pastora. Next month. El mes que viene. Carry me there. Lléveme allí. The driver carried her. El taxista la llevó. They put her at the gate. La colocaron en la puerta. This was the sixth day. Este era el sexto día. She asked them. Ella les preguntó, Where is the man of God going to pass? ¿Cuándo será que el hombre de Dios va a pasar? They told her, Le dijeron, that door, Esa puerta, I preached, Yo prediqué, I poured out my life, Yo derramé mi vida, after two hours, Luego de dos horas, I was about to go, Estaba por irme, she heard the foot of people. Ella escuchó a la gente que había tanto ruido. She said, "Where is he? Where is he?" Ella dice, "¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está?" They say, "He's passing that gate." Le dijeron, "Está pasando por esa puerta." He told somebody, "Take me there, quick, 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 rápido, rápido, rápido." They rushed to the gate. Y salió corriendo hacia la puerta. Suddenly, de repente, somebody grabbed my robe. Alguien me agarró de las ropas. To pull it. Para tirarlas. Oh, I say, hey! Los sugieres empezaron, hey! I said, leave her. Yo dije, déjenla. I said, bye bye. Le dije, chau chau. She shouted. Ella gritó. I can see. Puedo ver. I can see. Puedo ver. I didn't touch her. Yo no la toqué. I said, you can see. Le dije, puedes ver. While I was talking that. Mientras hablaba eso. She heard me. Ella me escuchó. She stood up. Se levantó. She began to walk. Y comenzó a caminar. Before our two eyes. Delante de mis dos ojos, she saw, ella vio, she walked. ella caminó. Why? ¿Por qué? She did not give up. Ella no se dio por vencida. She believed. Ella creyó. It is not over when it's not yet over. No se ha terminado cuando todavía no es el fin. God is still alive. Dios está todavía vivo. Think of this man. Piensa en este hombre. He was about to leave. Estaba por irse ya. He was going home. Ya se iba a casa. In disprudence. En en su imprudencia. Disappointed. Eh, desilusionado. Angry. Enojado. I'm going home. Me voy a casa. This is the last hospital. Este es el, la última esperanza. This is the last faith clinic. Esta es la última clínica de la fe. I'm going home. Me voy a casa. Suddenly. De repente. Jesus appears. Jesús aparece. In your case. In your what? In your own time. En tu propio tiempo. It will not be over. No se va a terminar. Until you see Jesus. Hasta que veas a Jesús. You must not go away. No debes irte. You must see Jesus. Debes ver a Jesús. Don't look for the church only. No busques solamente una iglesia. Don't look for the pastors no only. No busques pastores solamente. Don't look for me only. No me busques a mí solamente. Look for Jesus. Búscalo a Jesús. Jesus will not let you down. Jesús no te ha de esperanza. Aleluya. 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 Él no te desengañará. Jesus. Jesús. So. Lo vio al muchacho. Jesus said. Jesús dijo, Bring him to me. Tráiganmelo a mí. Jesus rebuked. Jesús reprendió the unclean spirit. al espíritu inmundo. In the Bible, en la Biblia, the word rebuke la palabra reprender means significa devil, diablo. That's enough. Ya basta. Don't do it again. No lo hagas de nuevo. It doesn't matter what the devil did before. No importa lo que el diablo hizo antes. Jesus is going to say, Jesús va a decir, Don't do it again. No lo hagas ya más. Take 
take your hand off God's Quita problem. tus manos del pueblo de Dios. I don't know what you have faced before now. Yo no sé si tenías fe antes I o no. I know one thing for sure. Yo sé una cosa segura. When Jesus show up, cuando Jesús se hace ver, things change. Las cosas cambian. In the Bible, en la Biblia, we are told in the book of Mark. Se nos dice en el libro de San Marcos. How a woman, como una mujer, listen to this. Escuche esto. Had one son. Tenía un solo hijo. The son died. Ese hijo murió. They were taking the boat to cemetery. Lo estaban llevando al cementerio. The Bible says they came to the gate of Nain. La Biblia dice que antes de entrar en las puertas de la ciudad de Naín. When Jesus was going to cross the gate to enter the city. Cuando Jesús estaba por cruzar las puertas para entrar a esa the, ciudad. The crowd were taking the child out of the gate. La multitud estaba sacando a ese muchacho de las puertas. At the gate. Y en las puertas, Jesus came, Jesús vino, and they came. y ellos vinieron. Jesus was going in, Jesús entraba, they were going out. ellos salían. But Jesus arrived, Pero Jesús arribó and said to the mother, y les dijo a la madre, Woman, mujer, be of good comfort. ten ánimo, Don't cry anymore. no llores ya más. The mother said, What are you talking? La madre dice, ¿qué estás hablando? A woman lost the son. Le dice, la mujer perdió a su hijo. You say, be of good y le dice, ten confianza. Why should she be of good ¿Por qué tendría que tener confianza? Don't you see the son? Pero, ¿ves ese hijo? It's dead. Está muerto. Brothers and sisters, Hermanos y hermanas, when Jesus show up, cuando Jesús se hace ver, las cosas cambian. He said, Put him down. Le dice, déjenlo allí. Put him down. A recuéstenlo. I can hear the crowd. Yo puedo escuchar la multitud. Say, what is he talking? ¿Qué dice? ¿De qué está hablando? He's a dead child. De ese muchacho. He's 30 years old. Tiene 30 años de edad. He's going to cemetery. Se va al cementerio. What are we going to put him down ¿Por for? qué vamos a bajar el féretro? Why? ¿Por qué? Because when Jesus comes, Porque cuando Jesús viene, things change. las cosas cambian. Put him down. Bajen el féretro. Put him down. Bájenlo. And they put him down. Cuando lo bajaron. Everybody was looking at Jesus. Todos estaban mirando a Jesús. The Bible says, La Biblia dice he touched the bed. que él tocó el féretro. He touched the coffin. Tocó el féretro. And the dead child, y el muchacho que estaba muerto, years old, de 30 años de edad, the Bible says, he stood up, La Biblia dice que se levantó. He up, se levantó. And sat up, se sentó and began to speak. y comenzó a hablar and Jesus took him by hand y Jesús le tomó de la mano and gave him to the mother. y se le entregó a la madre When Jesus show up, cuando Jesús se hace ver change. las cosas cambian las cosas cambian When Jesus show up, cuando Jesús aparece change. las cosas cambian In my Bible, en mi Biblia we are told, se nos dice in Bethesda, que en Bethesda great multitude gathered. había una gran multitud Six four. Había personas Blind. enfermas, Blind. ciegos, ciegos, Deaf. sordos, Dumb. Sor mudos, All of them todos ellos gathered estaban juntos by the poolside. junto a, a la, And one day, al estanque y un día, one day, un día, the Bible said, la Biblia dice, when Jesus came, cuando Jesús vino, listen to John chapter five, escuche San Juan capítulo 5, versículo 3 dice, In this lay a great multitude of impotent folks. En esto se hacía una multitud de enfermos, Blind, ciegos, hot, cojos, withered, paralíticos, waiting for the moving of the water. Que esperaban el movimiento del agua. For an angel para que un ángel went down at the que descendía de tiempo en tiempo al estanque, into the pool, que descendía al estanque and troubled the water. y agitaba el agua. You cannot imagine the Bible people we went to troubled water. Usted no se puede imaginar que en la Biblia la gente iba a aguas agitadas. The church is running from troubled water. La iglesia está corriendo detrás de aguas agitadas. The world is running from troubled water. El mundo está corriendo detrás de las aguas But agitadas. In the Bible, Pero en la Biblia, people went to the troubled water. la gente iba a las aguas agitadas. To look for peace in troubled water. Para buscar paz en las aguas agitadas. One day the Bible says, Un día la Biblia dice, look at it again, John chapter five. Mírelo de nuevo, San Juan capítulo 5. The Bible says, Whosoever first went into the troubling water. La Biblia dice que este, Whosoever went el que entraba primero al agua agitada was made whole era sano or whatever disease de cualquier enfermedad que tuviese. Yes. Versículo 5. And a certain man y había allí un hombre was there, que hacía 
que estaba enfermo 38 años escucha el versículo 6 pastores cuando Jesús lo vio acostado y supo que llevaba ya mucho tiempo así When Jesus saw him lie, cuando Jesús lo vio acostado and knew, y supo he saw him lie, lo vio acostado he knew, él supo he had been in that cave que había for a long estado time. en esa condición durante mucho tiempo Why did Jesus see him lie? ¿por qué Jesús lo vio acostado? ¿cómo supo que había estado allí mucho tiempo? porque él se up. Porque se mostró. When Jesus showed up, Cuando Jesús aparece, las cosas cambian. He saw him lie, lo vio acostado. He knew he had been that y supo long. que ya llevaba mucho tiempo. He said unto him, y le dijo, Do you need a change? ¿Necesitas un cambio? He saw him lie. Lo vio acostado. He knew he had been there in that case. Supo que había estado allí mucho tiempo. 38 anguishing years. 38 años de angustia. 38 times of trouble. 38 tiempos de dolor. 38 years of sickness. 38 años de enfermedad. 38 years of diseases. 38 años de dolencias. 38 years of downcast. 38 años de estar derribado. Pero la Biblia dice que lo vio acostado. He knew he had been dead. Supo que estaba allí. Sometimes you think God doesn't know. A veces piensas que Dios no Sometimes sabe. You think God doesn't see you. Piensas que Dios no te ve. Well, my Bible says he Pero saw mi Biblia him. dice que lo vio. He knew him. Y supo. I repeat. Lo repito. He saw him. Lo vio. He knew him. Y lo conoció. He saw him. Lo vio. He knew him. Y lo conoció. God sees you. Dios te ve a ti. I believe this message is blessing you. Please visit and share videos on anointedtube.com, the world database of Christian preachers, to help us reach 100 million people. The message continues after this video about Anointed Tube. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the homepage and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. cuánto tiempo We have been in trouble. hemos estado en problemas ha 
Hallelujah. 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 What did Jesus say? ¿Qué es lo que Jesús dijo? Do you want to be made whole? ¿Quieres ser sano? Do you need a change? ¿Necesitas un cambio? The question is the same today. La pregunta es la misma hoy. Have you lied enough? ¿Has estado yo acostado suficiente tiempo? Are you tired of lying down? ¿Estás cansado de quedarte acostado? Do you need a change? ¿Necesitas un cambio? Pastors, pastores, ministers of God, ministros de Dios. That was the question God asked me 36 years ago. Esa fue la pregunta que Dios me hizo hace 36 años atrás. Are you tired of complaining against the church? Estás ya cansado de quejarte contra la iglesia? I was the chairman of complaining committee. Yo era el presidente de la comisión de quejas. That was my gift. Ese era mi don. This is bad, this is bad, this esto is malo, bad, this esto is malo, bad. Esto es malo, esto es malo, esto es malo. And God said you can say it for thousand years. Y Dios me dijo, lo podés decir durante miles de años. Your complaint cannot change anything. Tus quejas no pueden cambiar nada. If you want to change anything, si quieres cambiar algo, you do something. Tienes que hacer algo. Do you need a change? ¿Quieres un cambio? Do you need a change? Necesitas un cambio. And Jesus said, if you need a change, y Jesús dijo, si necesitas un cambio, get up, levántate, take your bed, toma tu lecho, and go home, y vete a tu casa. Get up, levántate, carry the thing that carried you before. Lleva lo que antes antes te llevaba a ti. Jesus showed up. Jesús apareció. When Jesus showed up, Cuando Jesús aparece, things change. las cosas cambian. Get up. Levántate. Take your bed. Toma tu lecho. Go home. Vete a tu casa. What? ¿Qué? Don't you see my legs? ¿No ves mis piernas? 38 years. 38 años. Don't you see my hand? ¿No ves mis manos? 38 years. 38 años. It's dead. Muerto. Get up. Levántate. Take your bed. Toma tu lecho. Go home. Vete a tu casa. Don't you look at my bones? No ves mis huesos. They have dried up. Se han secado ya. Get up. Levántate. Take your bed. Toma tu lecho. Go home. Vete a tu casa. Don't you know how I feel? No te das cuenta lo, lo que siento. Get up. Levántate. Take your bed. Toma tu lecho. Go home. Vete a tu casa. Do you know how many years I've been on the floor? ¿Ves cuántos años estuve acostado en el piso? Years. 38 años. Get up. Levántate. Take your bed. Toma tu lecho. Go home. Vete a tu casa. When you are willing to go, cuando estás dispuesto a ir, go. Vete. When you are tired of sitting cuando down, cuando estás cansado de hacer eso, get up. Levántate. Go home. Vete a tu casa. Aleluya. Aleluya. No te quejes. Don't complain. No te quejes. Get up. Levántate. Go home. Vete a tu casa. Get up. Levántate. Go home. Vete a tu casa. Get up. Levántate. Go home. Vete a tu casa. Get up. Levántate. Go home. Vete a tu casa. The lame. Get up. Levántate. The blind. Los ciegos. Get up. Levántense. The deaf. Los sordos. Get up. Levántense. That's what Jesus said. Esto es lo que Jesús dijo. If you do the same thing today, si haces eso mismo hoy, you get the same result. Recibe los mismos resultados. The Bible says. La Biblia dice. He got up. Se levantó. He got up. El hombre se levantó. Last night. Versículo 9. Immediately, al instante, the man was made whole. Aquel hombre fue sanado. And took up his bed. Y tomó su lecho. And walked. Y anduvo. He took up his bed. Tomó su lecho. And walked. Y anduvo. Jesus didn't take the bed for him. Jesús no le llevó el lecho a él. Jesus only said. Jesús solo le dijo. If you are tired of complaining, si estás cansado de quejarte, get up. Levántate. Go home. Vete a tu casa. If you are tired of sitting down, si estás cansado de sentarte ya. 
Hey, are you ready to go? ¿Estás dispuesto para salir? Get up. Levántate. Get up. Levántate. Go home. Vete Get up. a tu casa. Go If you sit down, si te sientas, you take your sickness. entonces te quedas con la enfermedad. If you up, si te levantas, you go home. te vas a casa. When Jesus come, Cuando Jesús viene, las cosas cambian. When Jesus come, Cuando Jesús viene, las cosas cambian. When Jesus come, Cuando Jesús viene, las cosas cambian. Cuando Jesús viene, las cosas cambian. Today, Hoy, He's here. Está aquí, in Argentina, en Argentina, in your home, en tu casa, in your business, en tu negocio, in your marriage, en tu matrimonio, in your church, en tu iglesia, in your school, en tu escuela, in your heart, en tu corazón, in your soul, en tu alma, in your spirit. en tu espíritu. Get up. Levántate. 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 Levántate. Rise. Levántate. Rise up. Levántate. Rise from your spirit. Levántate. Rise from verdad. your soul. Levanta tu Rise alma. in your spirit. Levanta tu espíritu. God has a miracle for everybody. Dios tiene un milagro para todos. God has a miracle for everybody. Dios tiene un milagro When para todos. When you are todos. ready to walk, cuando estás dispuesto a caminar, walk. puedes caminar. When you are ready to get up, cuando te preparas a levantarte, up. puedes When you are ready to be well, cuando te preparas para estar well. bien, puedes estar bien. When you are ready to be healed, cuando te preparas para estar bien, puedes estar bien. When you are ready to be saved, cuando estás listo para ser salvo, puedes ser salvo. But when Jesus shows up, pero cuando Jesús aparece, las cosas cambian. You can change up. Puedes cambiar. Lift up your hands. Levanta tus manos. And begin to worship God. Y comienza a adorarle a él. Don't look on one another. No miren el uno al otro. Don't look on one another. No se miren unos a otros. Looking unto Jesus. Mirando a Jesús. Looking unto Jesus. Mirándolo a Jesús. Looking unto Jesus. Mirándolo a Jesús. Looking unto Jesus. Mirando a Jesús. Looking unto Jesus. Mirando a Jesús. Open your mouth and worship God. Abre tu boca y adora Open a Dios. Your mouth and worship God. Abre tu boca y adora a Dios. Open your mouth and worship Abre tu boca y adora a Dios. Jesus is here tonight. Jesús está aquí hoy. To touch your body. Para tocarte. To heal your soul. Para sanar tu alma. To heal your spirit. Para sanar tu espíritu. Believe God. Créele. Believe God. Crea a Dios. Do what you couldn't do before. Haz lo que antes no podías Believe hacer. God. Crea a Dios. For your salvation. Para tu salvación. For your deliverance. Para tu liberación. For your miracle. Para tu milagro. Believe God. Crea a Dios. For a change. Por un cambio. To your body. A tu cuerpo. To your soul. A tu alma. To your spirit. A tu espíritu. Believe God. Créele a Dios. Now you can walk. Y puedes caminar. Believe God. Créele a Dios. You can get up. Y puedes levantarte. Believe God. Créele a Dios. You can be healed. Y puedes ser salvo. Believe God. Créele a Dios. You can be saved. Puedes ser salvo. Tonight. Esta noche. Jesus is showing up. Jesús se hace ver. Do what you couldn't do before. Haz lo que antes no podías Believe hacer. Believe God for a miracle. Cree tu milagro. He can touch your feet. Lo puedes tocar. He can touch your hand. Puede tocar he tus manos. He can touch your head. Puede tocar he tu cabeza. He can touch your heart. Él puede tocar he tu corazón. He can touch your soul. Él puede tocar he tu can alma. Touch your spirit. Puede tocar tu espíritu. And you can be healed. Y puede ser salvo. You can be saved. Tú puedes ser salvo. Don't look on one another. No se miren unos a otros. Look for Jesus. Búsquenlo. Miren look a for Jesús. Jesus. Miren a Jesús. Look for 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 Jesus. Miren a Jesús. Open your mouth and talk to God. Abre tu boca y habla con Dios. Open your mouth and talk to God. Abre tu boca y habla con Dios. That God to touch your soul. Que Dios toque tu alma. Let God to touch your spirit. Deja lo que toque tu espíritu. Let God to touch your body. Deja que Dios toque tu cuerpo. Let God to touch your every part of your life. Deja que Dios toque cada parte de tu vida. From the crown of your head. De la coronilla de tu cabeza. From the soles of your feet. Hasta la planta de tus pies. Every infirmity. Cada enfermedad. Every disease. Cada dolencia. Every sin. Cada cosa. Will die tonight. Se muere esta noche. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús de Nazaret. When Jesus shows up. Cuando Jesús aparece. They change. Las cosas cambian. Worship him. Adórele. 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 In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. Open your mouth. Abra su boca. 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 And touch. Y tóquele. God by your faith. Toque a Dios con su fe. Oh, Rabba Mahak. 
Abre tu boca bien para el Señor. Abre tu boca bien amplia para el Señor. Dios está aquí esta tarde para tocarte con mi para sanar tu cuerpo, para sanar tu alma. Abre tu boca, abre tu boca. En el nombre de Jesús. This message and a collection of other messages are available at Iwo Media Services. Iwo Media Services, inspirational, world-class production. Have you ever felt like starting over? With Jesus you can. If you'd like to begin a new life, pray this prayer from your heart. Dear God, you know everything about me. I know I have made mistakes. Please forgive me. Come into my life. Help me to follow you always. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. 
We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preacher's pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. Idausa is my father. My first encounter with uh, Archbishop Idausa, he was doing a big crusade uh, in the center of Accra, which is called Circle. He said, if your faith say yes, God cannot say no. Idausa is a man that believe with God, all things are possible. He had an unwavering faith. He had an unshaking faith. He had an unbreaking faith. He had faith in God. He saw God as he's talking to a faithful father. He saw God like his son will see a father who he trusts that is faithful. Whatever I ask my daddy to do, he will do it. That was Idausa's level of faith, beyond mass uh, explanation. He had faith. Spiritual a person, yet he was so human in nature. A man who reached out to everyone, the high, and the law in society. A man who rubs shoulders with presidents and the highest of dignitaries you can think of in society. I feel very blessed because the Lord has called me to preach the word of God in Africa and particularly in Nigeria. Um, I've been here with my husband 40 years now. Uh, it, it's a blessing. And it's particularly been a blessing to work with Papa Idahosa and Mama Idahosa. When you talk about legacy, I remember traveling with Archbishop Idahosa to Kaduna for the consecration of Bishop Oyedepo. I think it's Faith Liberation Chapel. I remember it as if it is today. And uh, Archbishop said, we are going. And when we got to Benin Airport, uh, Okada, uh, that's chief, Igbenidion had given him an aircraft. So we flew from Benin City Airport to Kaduna. And I carried, and it was there he told me in the preach, he said, This is my son. At the point, at that time, I didn't really know Bishop Edipo. 
this must have been early in the 80s or something. And then many, a couple of weeks after, Bishop Edepo came to Church of God Mission, Sunday evening service. And I remember the first message he preached, it was on the prodigal son. The man brought me out from the dungeon. Papa Idahosa was, he was a man full of energy and vision. Uh, he, he, he was always getting, moving on from one project to another. And often when he started a new project, we whites, we Oibos would say, why is he doing that? We couldn't see the vision at all. We thought, hmm, this is very funny. But then sometime later we would realize, oh yes, okay, I see why he's done that now. And I was a Muslim that I gave my life to Christ. In Ghana, there was this kind of freedom of worship. There were a lot of Muslims. And among those people that were the grace of God, I gave my life to Christ. And I wanted to go to Bible school when I felt the call of God upon my life. And unfortunately for me, at that particular time, with the Assemblies of God Ghana, there was no space for women to go to Bible school. So my pastor called me and said, he wants me to go to Nigeria and meet with Indahosa because there is a room in that particular ministry for women. And I traveled to Nigeria by the grace of God. On getting there, I met with the Archbishop, my first time of meeting the Archbishop in Dahosa of Church of God Mission International. What an awesome privilege it was to see this man of faith and boldness. I will never forget the Onitsha Crusade. At that time, the head of state in Nigeria had passed the law that nobody should do open air crusades. And Archbishop said he went to pray and said, God, God, what they are saying, and God asked him, what do you want? He said, I want to do crusade. God said, go ahead and do your crusade. So he sent us, I was part of the uh, advanced team, to go and paste posters all over Onicha. And we went to put posters all over Onicha. And the first day of the crusade, a truckload of soldiers came. The man of faith, the man of prayer, the man of courage, the man of peace. And Archbishop mounted the platform. And, and the soldiers came with their guns. When Archbishop started preaching, they all put their guns down. When he made the altar call, they all raised their hands to receive Jesus as Lord and personal savior. And we stood there and the whole crusade was an eye opener for us. And right there, I decided I needed to go and know more from this man. Fortunately, he was offering scholarship for people who want to attend Bible school in Benin, All Nation for Christ Bible Institute. And so that particular year, I uh, requested, I wrote, and fortunately, I was invited to come. So uh, we went to Nigeria to begin. Uh, my class, Actually, I went there in 1979. My class started in 1980. And uh, we went through the Bible training, and it was powerful. We were all charged up. He started uh, the Word of Faith schools. He started the Christian Hospital, Faith Mediplex. He started Benson Idahoza University all those and well he's he's a man we can't we can't forget he was a great example to us and I thank God it's particularly good for us whites British because in Britain uh, people are rather skeptical these days you'll not find many people who are really born again Christians um, people of faith are few in Britain, but if we can come here and our faith can be uh, increased, can be inspired, particularly by the things that Papa did, we are blessed. Let me share this. And I think for those who were around in Church of God Mission at that time, we traveled to Washington for Jesus, John Geminis, 
who went to Baltimore, flew to New York, and then flew to Lagos on Nigeria with 11 hours. And then we took Okada from Okada Air from Lagos to Benin City. It was bad weather. Brother, it was one turbulence I, I told God, as long as I'm alive, never let me face anything like this again in my travel. I'm sure Dausa and the wife Margaret were in the first class, which is only divided by a curtain, because it's a 90 seater plane. And we took off from Lagos to Benin. It was bad weather, raining cats and dogs. We rented a storm. There were Filipino pilots. And then they said that he has lost contact. The pilot said, listen, he has lost contact with Lagos. And so he doesn't know where he is. That is ridiculous. You are supposed to be taking us to Benin. So if you, the pilot, has lost contact and you don't know where you are and it's raining cats and dogs, what do you want us to do? And when I looked through the window, brother, I was sitting at the edge of my seat like this. I was shaking in my boots. I'd never been scared like that. I thought I was, I, it, it was a life and death situation. The plane would move, dive, turn left, turn right. When I looked through the curtain, I was looking at the reaction of the Abishoy Daosa. He would say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And then one time he stood up in the aircraft, lifted his hand. I will never forget. He said, God, this is what he said. God, you called me. And you didn't say I would die in a plane crash. My mission is not finished. My assignment is not over. We call the enemy to order and command the devil to back up. Now you pilot, you better find out where you are and take us to our destination in the name of Jesus. And he sat down. Five minutes time, the pilot said, he has made contact with Port Harcourt. Listen to this. We are supposed to be doing 30 minutes from Lagos to Benin. And the pilot, we, we landed in Port Harcourt. So we were on the sea. We have lost our way. We would have ended up in the sea. I will never forget. We landed in Lagos. It was still raining. That is where the testimony is. Mama, the house was there. You can ask her. I told Papa, can I please go for bus? Because I was afraid. Can we get a bus so we go to Benin? He said, no. James, you don't travel like I do. I must conquer the devil today in the air. I said, what is this? I was scared. I said, Papa, you want us to die? He said, James, if I don't conquer the devil, I will not be able to travel by air. Okada gave us his gold plated aircraft. Chief Ibunidion, he called him. The plane rolled out from the hangar and we went by air to Benin. And that Sunday evening, he made me go to church and give a testimony. He said, Ghana boy. He calls me Ghana boy. I came and said, Give them your testimony. You coward. <laughs> Another powerful miracle was when the witches in the whole world decided to come and have a meeting in Benin City. And Archbishop said, not when he's here, there won't be any such meeting. The chief priest then was summoned, his name Chief Ebohu, because he was a representative of the witches then. And he said, the meeting, nobody, not even God could stop the witches from meeting. Then daddy said, or papa said, yes, God will not waste his time to stop you because I'm here to stop you. God has put me here to stop you. And guess what? That meeting never took place in Benin City. When you are with him one on one, you will feel an aura that defies definition. You know, it's as if you are in the presence of God, of a deity, of something that is beyond where you are. You know, uh, he never celebrated mediocrity. He never took no for an answer. He dared to go where nobody wants to go or everybody feared to go. He was a man that believed in venturing where others feared to venture. He was a trailblazer 
I remember those days. For example, this television ministry that's becoming uh, anything today, it also started it in 1974-75. I'm honored to have been one of his sons. And uh, by the grace of God, I think that um, that sign wonder anointing and his boldness. I was I did a meeting for Dr. Maurice Serrillo in 2010. And just before I spoke in his world conference, they said, uh, oh, miracles don't happen in America because they have a lot of doctors. It happens in the third world. Well, when I took the microphone, I just shared my testimony. 23 cripples gave me their sticks and began to walk. Um, that kind of boldness to decree and declare, I took it from the late Archbishop. I believe in the transference of spirits, and I believe strongly, like God told Moses, I will take up the spirit that is upon you, and I will put it upon the 70. I'm one of the people who took of that spirit of signs and wonders from the Archbishop. Making a movie of the Archbishop will really, really help the next generation. Because the young preachers and the young ministers that are coming up have no clue of who he was. It, I mean, he will still be preaching and cripples will start walking. Um, that was an awesome man of faith. I remember whilst we were in school, he went to visit and it was shown on TV. Um, he went to visit Kenneth Copeland. And when he got there, they, he was supposed to have gone the previous day, but he arrived late. So they announced, when they announced that the Archbishop Idahosa has arrived, six cripples got out of their wheelchairs. That is how anointed uh, Papa was. We must keep his legacy alive. Idahosa is dead to some people, but to us, to me, Idahosa lives. Hello, I am Bishop Margaret Benson Idahosa, the wife of the late Archbishop Benson Idahosa that did wonders while he was on earth here. Early in the morning when I rise, I will lift up my eyes. Now let me let you know how I got to meet him. You know, in those early years, he used to ride his bicycle with some trucks going from street to street, and one of it was my street. And every time he comes, we call him pastor. Pastor, he was young then, about 21 or 22. He was very, very young, but he didn't mind. He was not ashamed of the gospel because he knew that that was the power of God in his life. And one of these days, he was riding past, and people were crying in my house. <laughs> and he just stopped, brought his, brought his uh, small little Bible out and came in, just uh, uh, with it through the crowd. And he came and I said, ah, Pastor, please, today is not like any other day. Somebody just died. <laughs> He say, ah, I have been riding my bicycle all through. Till this time, it was about four o'clock. And I want to raise somebody. I say, he, please, I beg you. Don't, don't make a mockery of your God. He said, no, 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 no. I want to wake him up because God has told me in the book. Then he opened the book and read it that uh, 
uh, uh, behold, I have given you power to tread upon serpents, to tread upon scorpions, and to raise the dead. And I said, listen, don't make a mockery of yourself. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal that sin. Raise the dead. I said what? I beg what till I talk. Benson, you mean what you say that we can raise dead person? Yes, absolutely. Have you raised dead person before? Uh, no. Why? But you say I can do it. Yes, in the name of Jesus. He said, no, 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 come and show me where the baby was. So I said, okay. I took him to the room where the baby was lying. It, it was she. She was about uh, three years old, three or four, four years old then. And I said, "Listen, this baby died at about nine, and it's about four o'clock now. The baby is already changing color. The fa why why he why she was not being buried at this time is that the father has to go to the secretariat to get a death certificate." And he said, oh, there's no need for that now. Let's do it. Let's do it. I said, how? How are you going to do it? And he said, okay, go out if you don't want to see, see me do it. But, uh, you know, as a stubborn child, then I stood, at the, I stood at the door. I stood at the door with my back laid at the door. One, one eye on this side and one eye on the front door. And he prayed. Early in the morning when I rise. Child. Be healed. I will bring to you an offering. After he prayed, he asked me, What is the name of the child? What's the girl's name? I said, It's Inwarata. I'm a living testimony. I give God the glory for keep counting me among the living today. I'm a testimony that the whole world knows about through my father, late Ben Sinidahosa. I was sick about two weeks. After the sick, conversion hold me. So I, I, I died. When I died, they kept me inside one room. So my people was crying, weeping. About two hours, about three hours later, my father convinced my late Benson in the house. He said, what is happening? They told him that her daughter, their daughter has lost. They said, what happened to her? He said, she was confused. So they tried the, in the ordinary native daughter tried to can raise her back to life. He said, where is her now? He said, she's swallowing there. He said, he asked my father the question. He said, daddy, do you believe that the God I serve can raise him come back to life. My father said yes. So he said they should take him to the room. Then take him to where they, they lie me down. So carry me, they were praying with some of members. As they pray with God that answered by fire, hear their prayer. I come back to life. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! That is how I'm a living so today. And he just stretched his Bible and himself on that child and said, Inuata, I command you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that has empowered me to raise the dead. Now, come back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Inuata, I command you, rise up! I was just peeping. And all of a sudden, the, the child that died at about nine o'clock sneezed. 
<laughs> Another girl died to me after a year and three months in the womb. So my mother passed through many tribulations before she gave back to me. Many said maybe I'm not a baby, I'm a wood, I'm this, but for God be thy glory. When they gave back to me, I'm, I'm a human being. And after they gave back to me, the devil, the useless man, raised up his ugly head to take my soul away. Did you know I took to my heels? I couldn't stand, I couldn't wait, and I ran out. <laughs> with him to the mother. He said, please give this child something to eat. And everybody was surprised. Everyone was shocked. Ah, and he just left. And when he left, I, I sat down and I was thinking, what is the thing that made this man to raise this child from the dead? There must be power superpower then i wasn't a child of god my mother used to serve um, she was a princess of olokun shango and all that and i said mm, the, the the power that raised this child from the dead must be a power that surpasses the power of these graven images that has no power so the father just came and we started celebrating, but he was gone. But in the night I sat and I, I started praying and I said, God, if you were the one that raised that child up, just touch me. I have been hearing messages of salvation from here and there. Even the church I, 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 I used to go then, but I just knelt down and I said, Father, let Jesus come into my heart right now. And I need to know this power that raised this child. And that was all I prayed. I didn't know how to pray salvation prayer. But I just knelt down and I said, Father, please, if you were the one that raised this child up, let come into my life and let me act and walk and believe like us. That young man that we call pastor believed, and he did this. And you know, when I finished prayer, there was an abundant joy, unspeakable joy in my spirit. And the following day, uh, we, we used to call him Brother Benson. He came and said, where is the child? We said, the child is there. And I called him to the room and I said, you know what I did last night? I did know. Uh, I, I don't know how to do it, but I just knelt by my bedside and I said, God, if you were the one that raised that child up, let me have a part of that power. He said, ah, you have done it. And I knelt down, he prayed, and I, and I said the, the sinner's prayer, and that was what got me into where I am now. And I'm glad. Okay, because I'm still alive, my father, Benson Dalsa, is still alive because I'm a living testimony. I'm glad that I, 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 I'm doing what I'm doing now because there was sign, there was wonder, there was, there, there was miracle that got into my heart. Thank God for today and my life. I have about eight children, two guests, and two boys and six guests. He was a man that did everything by faith. I have about 10 grandchildren to the glory of God. Now I understand the, the type of joy. The Bible said that the joy that no man can give, that is the joy that Jesus gives when you give your life to him.
you can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures, click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures, click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. Thank you for taking the time to watch this powerful video of Archbishop Benson Indaosa. Archbishop Benson Indaosa was a charismatic Pentecostal preacher. He is the founder of Church of God Mission International. Archbishop Benson Indaosa was popularly referred to as the father of Pentecostalism in Nigeria. And I'd like you to know that he was also my spiritual father please do not forget to share this video to bless all the people let this video go viral remain blessed
Hello, this video is about Archbishop Bensi Idaosa, his early Christian ministry testimony. As a young Christian, I once heard my pastor say during a morning service that Christians could raise the dead in the name of the Lord Jesus. I believe it with my, all my heart. I'm flying around on my bicycle in those days. I went through the city of Benin in Nigeria in search of a dead person to raise to life. After five hours of hard session, I found a company where a little girl had died a few hours before. The corpse had been cleaned and prepared for burial. I walked boldly to the father of the child. The God whom I serve can bring your baby back to life. I told him, Will you permit me to pray for the child and bring her back to life? The man was startled, but he agreed. I walked into the room and up to the bed. The child was cold and dead. With strong faith in the Lord, I called on the Lord to restore the child back to life. I turned to the corpse and called it by name. Arise in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, glory to God, the corpse sneezed heavily. Alas, the child had come back to life. God is Bensi Indaosa. Now, Bensi Indaosa childhood. Bensi Indaosa was born in Benin City on September 11, 1938, to a pagan parents. He was a sickly infant who was always fainting. As a result of his constant illness, his father ordered the mother to throw him in the dustbin. When he was 18, year, 18 months old, he was left on a rubbish heap to die. He was rejected by his father, sent to work on a farm as a servant, and was denied education until he was 14 years old. His education was irregular due to the poor financial status of his parents. He later took correspondence course from Britain and United States while working in Bada Shoe Company. His conversion and call to ministry. His conversion was drastic and his calling supernatural. He was converted by Pastor Akos on a football field on one Sunday afternoon while playing soccer with his teammates. Thus, young Benson, young Benson became the first Benin member of Pastor Akbar's small congregation. As a young convert, he became very zealous in winning souls and in conducting outreaches in villages around Benin City. He was called to the ministry in a night vision from the Lord. I have called you that you might take the gospel around the world in my name, preach the gospel, and I will confirm my words with signs following said the voice from heaven. The room was filled with the presence of God as Benson fell to his knees before the Lord. Wherever you want me to go, I will go. He prayed through the night, renewing his vows to God and interceding for his people who were yet to hear the message of salvation. After his call, Benson launched into ministry, work preaching from village to village. The gospel of, the, of, of Jesus Christ with great power and anointing. More people confess Christ as their Savior and more healings occur as he prayed for the sick. Expansion of his ministry and his credentials. Archbishop Benson Daosa, the Archbishop himself and the founder of Church of God Mission International Incorporated with his headquarters in Benin City, Nigeria established over 6,000 churches throughout Nigeria, Ghana before 90, 1971. Many of the ministers he supervised pastored churches of 1,000 to 4,000 people. In addition to filling the position of Archbishop of Church of God Mission, he, also, he, he was also president of All Nation for Christ Bible Institute, president of Idaosa World Outreach, and president of Faith Medical Center. He had positions in numerous organizations, including the College of, Bish of Bishop of the International Communion of Christian Churches and the Ora Robert uh, University in Oklahoma. He also earned a diploma in divinity from Christ for the Nation Institute in Dallas, Texas, 
which he attended in 1971, a doctorate of divinity in 1981 from the World Faith College, New Orleans, and a doctor of law degree from Ora Robot University in March 1984. He also received another degree. He also received other degrees from the International University in Brussels, Belgium. Archbishop Benson and his wife Margaret Idaosa were blessed with four children. Idaosa Supreme Tax. So winning was Idaosa primary concern with a motto Evangelism Our Supreme Tax. He worked towards his goal of reaching the Orange Nigeria, Africa, and the rest of the world with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. As a black African, he found the doors of African countries were wide open and he ministered in over 133 countries all 123 countries all over the world. Crusade played a major role in his ministry. He was involved at least one crusade per month. A record crowd of nearly one million people a night attended his Lagos crusade in April 1985. He established the Redemption Television Ministry with a potential viewing audience of 15 million people. What leading gospel minister said about Archbishop Idaosa? According to Mrs. Gordon Frada Lisser, President of Christ for the Nation Incorporated, Dallas, Texas, USA, I know of no young black in all Africa, who is preaching, who is reaching millions as Benson is, in crusade with hundreds of thousands in attendance in in, a, in his weekly nationwide telecast, in his Bible school, training eager students from several nations. He also conducted campaigns in Sweden, Singapore, Malaysia, Korea, Australia, and United States, where he often appeared on national religious telecasts. His burden for souls, his ministry of healing and miracles, even to the raising of several dead, demonstrate he is, uh, is especially core of the Lord in this end time. Dr. Ben Akosa remarked, Benson Daosa is sought after by everyone in the state, from government officials to beggars. When they pose questions and explain their problem to this man, they receive instantaneous miracle solution, just as the people did in Bible days with God's prophet. The people got miraculous answer from, his, from this mighty leader of God's people, said Daniel Oris. Benin City respect and salute this great man of God even at his death. I have been with him on visit to many officials, to the governor, to the powerful Benin tribal kings. He moved with God and his people knows it. His great miracle cathedral, his headquarters sit over 10,000 in 1981. His Bible school attract upper class people from different African nations and also come from Morris, India, uh, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, Singapore, Philippines, Hong Kong, Japan, Korea, the Middle East, Europe, and other nations of the world. A truly international Bible training center of dynamic faith. People know that Bishop Idaosa preached what he practiced. Dr. Idaosa evangelistic ministry has reached nations around the world. He was the first Af black African evangelist to shake Australia in a massive crusade that got national attention. His seminar have affected Christians and church leaders in many countries. I sincerely salute this man because he practiced among his own people what he preached to the world. Bensi Indaosa was a man who believed God's promises and that God's miracle provision applies to Africans as well as to Americans. He believed that African has a part in God's work, and African will reap God's blessing. Evangelist T. S. Bond from Tulsa, Oklahoma, remarked, Many who followed 
Idaosa's teaching have been saved from poverty and have learned to plant out of their des- have learned how to plant out of their desperate need and to look to God as their divine source, thereby becoming prosperous Christians in their own land. Idaosa rose from the rank of an ordinary man to a world leader's leadership as a pastor, a builder, a counselor, a prophet, a teacher, uh, an apostle, an evangelist, a man of godly wisdom and of Christ-like compassion whose ministry has blessed million, millions the world over. Idaosa was the greatest African ambassador of the apostolic Christian faith to the world. The secret of his success. Idaosa operated in faith. He had a robust faith. He believed and trusted God with a childlike faith. He once said that living a daily life of absolute faith in God is the only secret to great success. He believed God for everything. All things are possible to him that believes. He spent quality times in prayer and in the study of God's word. He said that if someone spent time studying the Bible and acting on it, people will come looking for that person for life solutions. He also, also spent time studying the works and the lives of other successful people, both in the gospel ministry and other faith of human endeavors. And he applied the principles he learned, he learned from these successful people to his life and ministry. He was very energetic, hardworking. One of the ministers who served under him said that he had never seen a man who worked as hard as Archbishop Benson Daosa. He was committed and consistent, and he had confidence in himself he was very humble and full of godly wisdom have bishop bensi idaosa was said to be the leader of over seven million jesus people worldwide before he went to be with the lord in february 1998 now i'm going to talk about his early ministry again As a youth, he got converted to Christianity by a certain pastor at Paul and joined the flagging congregation as one of the first members. He was very active and converted many to Christianity. After experiencing a revelation from God, calling him into ministry, he began to conduct outreaches from village to village before establishing his church in a store in Benin City. Archbishop Benson Idaosa was well known for many notable quotable quotes, including, My God is not a poor God. Your attitude determines your your attitude determines your attitude. It is more risky not to take risk. I am a possibilitarian. A big head without a big brain is a big load to the neck. If your faith says yes, God cannot say no. Among others, many of these messages on faith, miracle, and prosperity remain a classic among Pentecostal. He had strong links with international gospel ministers like Billy Graham, T.L.S. Bond, Kenneth Hagin, Penny Inn, Ryan Bonke, Maurice Cerullo, Ora Robert, amongst others, and took the gospel to 145 nations in his lifetime. At the time of his death in 1998, he had preached to more white than any black man and to more black than any white man. His desire to meet the need of the total man led him to establish several other arms of the ministry apart from the church. They include Faith, Metaplex, All Nation for Christ Bible Institute, Word of Faith, Group of School, Bensi Indaosa University, which is currently under leadership of a son, Reverend E. F. B. Uh, Idaosa. His wife, Margaret uh, Idaosa, is the current Archbishop of the church. It was used by God to perform many miracles, including healing the blinds, raising up 28 people from the dead at different times in his ministry.
you must understand this powerful man of God that God used to affect the nation of the world. And I'm glad and privileged that he was my father in the Lord. I am honored to be a part of his anointing, a part of his, of his ministry. I want to ask you, please make sure you share these videos, this video, this particular video to bless all the people and make sure you have enough time to visit Anointed Tube, support Anointed Tube and let people all over the world around you, your village, your town, your city, your colleagues, your family, your friends, all your contact get to know about Anointed Tube. So thank you for taking the time to listen to this or, or watch this video. I believe that um, your life can never remain the same because God's servant was such a powerful, powerful, humble, great man of God that God used before he was called to be with him. I, and I'll say it again, I am grateful and I'm privileged to be a son to Archbishop Bensi in the house. The Lord bless you.